Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild AC Milan FIFA 17. We've slipped back to 18th position and I started wondering what the hell is going wrong? I mean, I know our players are a little bit substandard, but uh, just the, the failing to score goals has, has really frustrated me as you've probably seen in the last episode. So I went back and checked on my tactics and formation. I do have a video on this on my channel, uh, the tactics and formation that I've been using since the start of FIFA 17. and. Uh, my tactics and everything was completely wrong. I thought I'd set it up right, but uh, I've converted to the ones exactly from that video. Hopefully that opens up a few more opportunities and we can knock some in. I'm hoping for goals in this episode, but uh, let's just get straight into it. No play upgrades today. We just are going hunting goals. Come on. All right, game number one of the episode. It's a rainy day in Trapani and they are hosting Milan and well, the, the formation hasn't been adjusted, but the tactics have. And uh, hopefully some of these little adjustments that I've made uh, in the managerial, you know, Sabine Lombardi really just pulling back and Trapani are in 17th. So uh, this should be a good opportunity for us to, to try and break that negative eight goal difference. Uh, Konstantinov is up front again as Mancini is out injured, but he doesn't have a lot of stamina and we don't have any other strikers to come in. So uh, we'll have to see what we can do here. We're still the best defensive team in the league somehow even though we've conceded quite a few goals of late. They're looking for a win. The boys have to be hungry. They want to play for the shirt. Let's get out here and see if we can do the job. Well said. Boys look like they're making some runs here. And Darlo off to Sook. Back inside. Konstantinov gets the run here from Klausen, but he can't pick it up. But it's good to see the boys making some runs. Jill did well. Found Sook. Konstantinov gets the ball off. Jill, oh... And another free kick here. They have come to play. And Trapani are tackling with vengeance. And it will be Klausen again here. And can he do this one? Flips it around. Straight at the keeper. Oh, great touch from Klausen. Passes this one off. Konstantinov into the area. Shoots. And a good save from Piglicelli. Oh, the pig got a good save on that one. But we're creating chances here. And I do like it. Free kick, uh, getting close to half time. We've definitely looked the better side today. There's the head up, Santoro with the save. He just rolls it out quickly to Diaz. There's the whistle. Half time, it is nil all, but I felt we were right on top and we've created some good opportunities. Right, two changes at half time. Laganov and Young come on for Klausen and Konstantinov. We're going to try Laganov in a striking role. He scored four goals so far this season. He's a big body. Hopefully, we can find something here in the second half. Oh, get it out. Yes. Jeez. Sandoval did well. Laganov whips this one on to Jan. Has he got something in the tank here to fucking make some creation? No, he doesn't. Oh, brilliant work from Diaz. And Jill slips it forward. Laganov turns his man. Come on, Laganov. We just need something from you. Does well. Keeps going. Oh, come on. Passes inside. Laganov. Oh, offside my dick. There is the whistle. So a nil-all draw. Oh, I felt we deserved a goal today, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. Well, we only had the five shots, but we were definitely right in the game. Creating moves, and that's what I like to see. Hopefully that builds in the next couple of games. Garlo had a cracking game in the midfield, the 7.9. All right, you squad monthly report. Christopher Free, 78 to 94. Svensson, 68 to 88. Owen Richardson, 74 to 80. Antonio Romano, 70 to 86. Ramiro Rivero, 75 to 93. John Brady, 81 to 87. Uh, Alessandro Russo, 75 to 89. Oliver Fries, 83 to 94. 
Ian Curran, 79 to 89. Pierce Cunningham, 76 to 82. Uh, Matteo Gallo, 63 to 81. We're going to release him. Uh, Antonio Santoro, 72 to 92. And that is our Youth Academy. Um, should we do any more housekeeping? Hmm. Yep, Romano's gone as well. And Owen Richardson, well, uh, we'll just wait and see what happens with the Australian. Um, but Christopher Fries looks like he might be the next player coming through the ranks at 58 overall so far. All right, we are in the United States of America, and there are two players that we will be signing into the Youth Academy. One is Reese Banks, 54 to 72, 75 to 94 potential. And the other one is Nathan Cunningham, 46 to 63, 69 to 94 potential. All right, we are in the Ivory Coast, and there's a Kone. If you've been around the channel a long time, you will know the name Kone. But uh, unfortunately, he's pretty rubbish. We'll keep an eye here on Kunate and Kuname. Uh, they both look like they could be all right. We'll just keep an eye on them. The other two are pretty rubbish. All right, we are in front, and we're looking, I think, for physically strong players. There is one player that we will be signing into the Youth Academy, and that is Thomas Richard. 55 to 73 overall, 76 to 94 potential. Welcome to our Youth Academy. Well, there has been a training injury, and Manolo Sandoval, our left back from Bolivia, has broken his tibia, and he is now unavailable for six months. So, uh... That's fucking rough, EA. We're struggling, and you give us a six-month injury to pretty much our only left back. Uh. All right, just taking a quick look at the lads we just brought into the Youth Academy. Nathan Cunningham is 55 overall. Uh, Reese Banks is a 59 overall, so he's not far off getting a promotion. And Thomas Richard is a left back, 59 overall, 76 to 94. Fuck, he would have been handy. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Back at the San Siro, hosting top of the table Pisa. And uh, games probably don't come much harder than this one, taking on top of the table side in the form that we've been in. It has been a massive goal drought, but there were signs in the last game that there, there are things to come here for Milan. Uh, it, it provided a little bit more excitement while playing, and hopefully today, with a little bit more fitness behind us, and uh, another crack at these tactics. The boys can come through with the goods and take down top of the table, Pisa. Mancini still not back from injury. So uh, this is how the, the, the table is looking at the moment. We're down in like 18th or something. But uh, Pisa uh, gunning for promotion. Let's just get straight out here and see if we can take down the top side. Good work from Lombardi. Recovers the ball and Sook pushes down. It's the run here, Konstantinov. Back through the middle to Klaus and feeds it off to Sook. Oh, that would have been brilliant. And Sook again. Punches it off, Konstantinov. Gets the run on here from Giordano. Back into the middle. Klausen slips one forward. Sook. Oh, how did he dispossess him there? Brilliant defending. Solid work, Voynov. Here's Mock. Lost the ball as well. That was well, Mark. Good dribble. Shoots. Oh, get it, son! Yes, lad! Big Mark's done it! Oh, yes! Come on, Milan! We've got a goal! Yes, son! What a fucking miraculous move from the Korean. Oh, slips it in like a dumpling. And it's 1-0 Milan. Fucking come on. Get in, son! Fuck the neighbours if they can hear me right now. I'm excited. Finally, we score a goal. Yes! Salute Mock! And get in there! 1-0 Milan! Oh, yes! Well, there's half-time, and the brace from Mock is the difference. It's 1-0 Milan! You haven't said that too often. Yeah, that's a good ball forward. Clausen, he's done well there. Finds Sook. Sook tries to break the... Oh, whoa! Huge challenge on Sook. He is down. No penalty. It was all ball, apparently. You don't know. Flips it off, lagging off. He's got the runner here. It's Popov in on goal. Got a finish. Oh, save! Popov, you're fucking useless. Giordano, Mozarov gets the pass off. It's Popov again. It's Popov again. Oh, fuck me. How many shots do you need? Ball, Diaz, Voynov, slips it forward. Lagging off. Oh. Well, there's the whistle. We'll take a 1-0 victory any day of the week. We knock off top of the table, Pisa. And can we turn around this season 
in the final few games. Well, eight shots apiece. We're right in the game there against top of the table. Pisa with 14 tackles. We only made six because we were fucking aggressive today. And uh, just a, a really good game all around from everyone. Hopefully the Sook injury isn't too serious. But Mock controlled that midfield nicely. Right, so Sook has a bruised leg and he's out for two weeks. Having a cry over a bruised leg. All right, here we go. Game number three. We're on the road, and it's uh, Schenza. I don't know. I don't know. I've probably murdered it, but whatever. Mancini is back, ladies and gentlemen. He is back, and he will start up front today without a shadow of a doubt. You just need that little bit of touch up front, and I think Mancini is the man to bring that to the team. Obviously, Sook is out. I've moved Giordano over to the right-hand side. And Romano comes back into the team on the left. They're sitting 14th. We're 16th now. Looking for back-to-back -back wins. That would be unbelievable. Let's get straight into the game. There's Romano. Ryu. Mancini. Can he get that ball on? He can. It's Mock again. Oh, I just couldn't take the shot. Oh, good work, Giordano. Has Mancini in support, but uses Mock. He gets a run here from Romano. Goes off to Voinov. Come on, boys. Set something up here. Where's the run? Where's the run? Where's the fucking run? All right. Just work your way through it. Lombardi. Giordano. Clausen. Clausen. Wheels around. Clausen! Save! Fuck! It's Mock again! Oh, Mock around the block! Get in, son! 1-0 Milan! Well, Klausen wheeled around, got the strike away, and Mock, front and centre. Thank you very much for coming. Gets his second goal for the episode, his third goal for the season, and it's 1-0 Milan. Get in. Well, there's the whistle. Half time. It's Mock again doing the justice, and it's 1-0 AC Milan. All right, Laganov coming on for Klausen. The one issue with Klausen is he's got fuck all stamina, and he's dead at half time. So Laganov, Laganov comes on to replace him. Mancini. Oh, great ball on. And Ryu's made the run. There's Ryu. It's the cross back post. Laganov trying to get up. Well defended. It's a corner now for Milan. Mock to deliver. Whips it inside. Punched out by the keeper. Who's going to get there first? Lombardi to Mock. Back post. No one there. Laganov does well, takes the game on here, Laganov. Slips it forward, one of Giordano. Giordano breaks the line, takes the strike. Oh, deflection. Oh, solid work from Boynov. Laganov gets the run here, Giordano. Holds up the play nicely. Oh, Mock, you got in the way. Giordano gets back in there, Boynov slips it forward. He's got Laganov. Yes! Get in, son! 2-0, Laganov strikes. Brilliant football from Milan. Absolute persistence there from Giordano. Voinov puts it through to his Russian counterpart in Laganov. And he slips it home like a gypsy in the night. Get in, son. 2-0 Milan. The goals are coming, ladies and gentlemen. Slips through the middle. Passes it forward. Mox made a run for him. Mock slips it inside. Giordano! Oh, just wide. Mancini gets the run. It's the Russian again. Laganov. Oh, save. Well, there's the whistle. A 2-0 victory for Milan. What an outstanding performance. The tactics are working and we're scoring goals. Well, fucking 12 shots to 8. 13 tackles as well. That's the kind of team I like to see playing. Mock was outstanding with a 9.2. Laganov, 8.3, came on at half time and really did a job. And uh, it was just a, a really good performance across the board. All right, one thing I do want to cover, a lot of guys have been uh, making this comment, and that is loan glitching. Now, um, I'm not usually a big fan of loan glitching unless it's something to do with the series where you go out and you know create a super team or whatever. But uh, Mancini's a bit of a fan favorite. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have much of a potential. I'm gonna put a little bit of a straw poll vote, and uh, should we? Lone Glitch Mancini next season, just to give him a bit more and uh, hopefully he can stick around the, uh, the club for seasons to come. So get voting on that one. All right, today's player upgrade will be Choi, uh, the South Korean centre-back. 
Uh, he's been filling in that role there quite comfortably of late with Diaz. Uh, he's up to about a 58 overall now. I've been putting a fair bit of defensive training into him just to uh, help him level up. Not sure if he's got much potential, but uh, he's our best option at the moment. So if you want to make any changes to his number or kit, let me know in the comments. We'll get it happening in a future episode. Right, so the story of the day is back-to-back -back wins. We actually scored two goals in one fucking game. Uh, I've accidentally hit the button to go to the Copa Nacional, where you can see that it's Atlanta, and no idea who that is. Uh, but yeah, we sit in 14th position after 41 games. So what's there, seven games remaining in the season, I believe? Is it 46 or is it 48? Oh, we'll soon find out as we push on. But uh, moved up to 14th. And there's not a lot of points between us and probably 10th, so I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch, but this little bit of turnaround in form could be a sign of things to come as we try and push up. I'm aiming for 10th, all right? So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. I definitely have. We'll see you next time. I'm Spiron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.